Welcome to my channel, where there are interesting and equally sensational stories. Listen to today's story. My wife cheated, calls it a mistake, and things that shouldn't break us. We've been married for eight years, the other for ten plus. We have an eight-year-old and a five-year-old son. My wife also has three children from a previous marriage. When we first moved in together 2013, she quit her job and was able to get an admin job at the company I was working for. During that time, her and this dude I knew from that company hit it off and he would carpool with her to the house and vice versa. Sometimes he would get off and hang out at my house with me, and it really didn't make much of it. I thought that was a healthy coworker relationship. I knew the guy before I met my wife. The guy was married, we had hung out together, him and his wife and me and my wife, girlfriend at the time, at Christmas parties, etc., and it seemed like a really healthy relationship. My wife would talk to me about what he would tell her and how his wife was pregnant and so on and so forth, and I never made anything out of it. My wife only lasted at the job for about a year. We never heard from the dude again, other than maybe social media. Fast forward a few years. I quit my job late 2017 to start my own real estate practice. Ever since I switched jobs, things have gone downhill from there. Mainly because the first year I used all of our savings to keep afloat. I didn't make enough money to replace my old income, and our lifestyle took a hit. I had to take odd jobs and side jobs that wouldn't conflict with the start of my real estate career to keep up with the bills and home expenses until my business could take off. After having our second child, 2015, her oldest moved out, 2018, to go to college, and me starting real estate, it was a whirlwind of changes that took a hit in our relationship. We no longer seek the same things. She would complain about my disconnect from her, and how I was never mentally there in the house, which I admit, the first year in real estate made me go into this deep depression, and I was a really dark place. Fast forward to 2020. We had an argument where she mentioned to me that she was craving attention because I wasn't giving it to her. We had stopped having sex for, like, months at a time. My wife spends all day watching Netflix when I'm at home. Never cares to put the kids to bed. Never cares to do anything else once she done with work. And I was mostly scrolling through my phone. I decided to take a trip after three cancellations to go see my mom. I told her to come with me. And she said she couldn't do it that she had to quarantine before she can get back to work, and that I should go. Me and the boys, I go to see my mom with my two boys. While away, I had this weird vibe from her. She was treating me as if we were friends on the phone via I'm. Very weird and inexplicable. Long story short, I get back from the trip, and the conversation she has with me is I think you and I are in the process of breaking up. We haven't had sex. You don't seem to be happy etc., etc. I told her I was indeed in a dark place and not feeling emotionally well. Mainly because my relationship with her and how things were not according to expectations at work, but that I wanted to pull through. And I even said then, I believe we still have a 5050 chance to salvage our marriage, if that's how you feel. We start the process of figuring out what we are going to do for our marriage and kids. I start going to counseling for my depression. Long story short, again, I pulled myself out focusing on work, exercise, unhealthy eating, my business takes off in ways I couldn't even imagine. And while all this is happening, we're sleeping together and still married, trying to figure it out. I get a text from that dude's wife with all the screenshots of my wife and him talking, meeting up for lunches, calling each other babe, sending each other videos and pictures, her saying how she loves his voice and how he wants to see her etc. All that crap happens while I was gone. Before we had the conversation of think we are in the process of breaking up. It gets even worse. There's a text from 2013, the day that I proposed to her, of her telling him how I just proposed to her, and she had a wet dream with him. I called her up, told her we needed to talk about this dude, and asked her if she met up with him. She says, yes, and there was some serious making out. I confronted her with the pictures of her and him in what appeared to be a house. And she couldn't, or didn't tell me where it was because it would sound worse than what it is. 
I took a day to soak it all in. And the next day, I told her that we were just raising kids. I don't want to be with you. And as soon as we figure out how, what we were going to do with the kids, I'm out. She literally tells me this was my easy out. What the hell? I didn't go out and meet with an idiot that can't even count to 100 and is a garbage father to his kids and wife has been in jail and is on probation at the moment. God was good enough to allow me to see this guy the next day. I encountered him at an office and kicked his ass. He ran, I told my wife. They both thought there wouldn't be any consequences to their actions, and my wife and I had talked after I calmed down. And to her, it was just a minor mistake. That I mentioned she ended her previous marriage with an infidelity on her end as well. In my mind, she gave up on me before she even told me. In my mind, her actions spoke louder than words. And now, I'm making solid money, have a three plus years solid real estate practice, have lost 20 pounds and I'm eating healthy. Reading, etc. And she sees how I have pulled myself out from depression and are doing great and now she's thinking she could keep me. But to me, I don't see how we get past that and how we get back to loving each other when the ultimate disrespect has been committed. In my mind, this thing is over and I don't see it another way. Some reactions from the community. Blaze in 91 says, Did you know her previous relationship ended the way it did? On top of that, you also were taking care of her three kids. I know people see this differently but I don't find myself obligated to take care of another man's children. There is some fault on your side with the whole depression and not being emotionally available. But it seems like she was already on this dude before you even had kids who got married or started having issues, etc. Throw her butt to the curb and don't look back. Be there for your boys and pass your hard-earned lessons on to them, so they don't make similar mistakes in the future. The marriage is over. If it even was one in the first place. Less than for dudes out there. Don't get involved with single mothers, unless you're assured of what your role is and what kind of woman she is, etc. 9 out of 10, it's going to end terribly. Best of luck on what you're already going to do not sure what advice you're seeking here. He seems sad on what you want and know what to do. Just take the first step. Another comment from Inevitable Argument 2. As others have said, it was a mistake to not be emotionally available to your wife, but that doesn't excuse her for the affair. She dropped the bomb on your relationship. I would say you still have a chance to work it out if both parties wanted to work except for three things. 1. She is calling this a minor mistake and she has a past history of infidelity showing that her mindset is not in the right place at all. 2. She said you were in the process of breaking up, showing that she already had it in her mind to leave you, and therefore, is unlikely to do the real work it will take to repair this marriage. And 3. You seem checked out and would have to do most of the work towards forgiving her since you are the victim. Given all of these, I agree with the other posters, time to lawyer up. Moving on to the next story, stuck inventing details of wife's affair. It has been about six months since D-Day. My wife and I were in a very dark place, not communicating, and just going through the motions. She would travel for work, and there were times I actually couldn't wait for her to go so that I could have some alone time without feeling guilty. Ironic. While she was traveling, she had an affair for about two months. Two times, it got physical, but he was there to listen to her and show interest in her when I was not. I'm not giving her excuses, but it does matter. It wasn't like we were completely happy. She could have just said something and she didn't. She has apologized profusely for this. She actually disclosed the information to me voluntarily because she wants to work on the marriage. We've been going to marriage counseling weekly and working on her communication. She's been going to weekly individual therapy to work on her issues. I keep thinking she deserves credit for telling me because I genuinely would have never known. What feels effed up is that she obviously didn't have to tell me, and we would have been fine. She wanted to tell me so that we could work on the marriage. It feels wrong to just leave, given her vulnerability in the matter, but I can't get these images out of my head. We have good days and bad days, 
when I have bad days, it is because I can't stop torturing myself with made-up details of the story. She tries to be there for me during these times, but, like, how am I supposed to receive comfort from the person who hurt me? She says sorry and wants to help, but like I genuinely don't know what she could possibly do for me. I picture them having fun together and then obviously knowing what it would lead to. I picture her getting naked with him and his body on hers, then kissing in their hands on each other. When it gets really bad, I invent them having the best sex of their lives, and obviously, I invent stories of his stamina and etc., etc. He becomes really emasculating. Last night, it hit rock bottom, and I just don't know what to do. Started going to individual therapy a few weeks ago to help me work through it, but it just isn't helping. I do love her, but I can't keep living this non-stop torture of picturing my wife, screwing someone else. To make matters worse, we have a two-year-old. I grew up in a broken home. My wife wants to work on things. Am I willing to allow Lily to grow up in a broken home just because I cannot get over the past? I know we can't just stay together for the kids, but rushing out of the marriage when my wife is trying to be better simply because of my insecurity around sex, seems unfair to my daughter. Does anyone have any advice for me? What role does she have in comforting me? Does it ever get better? I was hoping six months later that we would be well on our way back, but I'm just stuck. It feels like she decided then and there end the marriage when she betrayed our vows and invited this opportunist into her life. The first time could have been a mistake but she knew exactly what she wanted the second time. Let's get some reactions from the community. Zanzibar Buck McVeigh says, Here's something I did that helped me. My wife and I met in our 30s, and we both had sexual partners before we met. Do I think about all the other guys she'd previously slept with in her life and wondered about them, how their sex was, and how we compare? No. I've never given a second thought to any of those guys. So why would I spend my time dwelling on a pair of partners when I don't think twice about other guys from her past? I realized it's different because the fair partner was a partner while we were married, but I try to reinforce that personal line of thought as much as possible. The second point is that real-life sex is not like foreign videos or Hollywood movies. It would typically be underwhelming to an outside viewer. Betrayed spouses have a tendency to make it more passionate erotic or exciting in their imagination than it actually was. My wayward spouse, mentioned that the affair partner used to pre-order a pizza to the hotel room for them to eat afterwards before she left, so that helped me not to imagine their sexual hookups as something more than they were. Here's the closing dot from NOP. I know that real-life sex isn't like porn. It is just brutal that I wasn't considered during this time. I am at home, taking care of our one-year-old, and she is traveling and doing this. It is a combination of betrayal and the idea that I was just so naive. That is also so painful. It is so much easier said than done because I just dwell and obsess over made-up details. I wish I could just tell myself that she didn't have to tell me, but she did. Should she really be punished indefinitely for that with a divorce? 